Time to go to the traffic. So I'm on my way to the gym, but as you saw, it was and it is already 1:35 p.m. My session is at two, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it to the gym, but I'm gonna try. Mmm, drama. Okay. 2 p.m., but I'm almost there. Okay, so made it at the gym, 30 minutes left, so we're going to do some cardio workouts. Uh, you guys didn't see, but the workout was intense, even though it was only for 30 minutes. <sighs> Time for a So 30 minutes of workout in the bag, only 30 minutes, but this just proves a point that however much time you have, just go hard and yeah, go hard or go. Anyway, I wanted to discuss what I think is the best lens for vlogging if you have a Canon 80D. Now I'm going to be discussing the lens that I'm using which is the Tokina 11 to 16 2.8 f-stop wide-angle lens when I get home. But first, I'm gonna meet up with B. As usual, coffee. B and her sister just got here. They're not gonna stay that long because they're going out with their mom because it's their mom's birthday today. So comment down below a happy birthday to to my girlfriend's mom. Anyway, just, just to remind you guys, the lens that I'm going to talk about later on when I get home is just my opinion to be the best lens for vlogging. Nobody be too harsh in the comment section. Yeah. So what's the best vlogging lens if you own a Canon ATD? Now I've been through a lot of lenses and before the Tokina 11 to 16, which is what I'm using right now, I use the Canon 10 to 22. The only problem with that lens is the f-stop or the aperture. That basically means light it lets in in low light situations. F-stop of that one is 3.5. That's the lowest that it can go. And when you zoom in, it goes up to a 4.5 or 5 f-stop. You can imagine it's not that reliable in low light situations. Now, this one, the Tokina 11 to 16, it has an aperture or f-stop of 2.8. That's the lowest that it can go. But the best part about this lens is even if you zoom in, it maintains the same f-stop. Now this is me zoomed in all the way to 16. This is 11. That's one reason why I think this lens is the best lens for a Canon ATD. This lens is specifically made for crop sensor cameras, which the ATD is. The autofocus of, of the lens is not that noisy as compared to a Sigma lens, for example. Now, um, I'm gonna let you hear the, the autofocus um, mechanism. Not that noisy. I mean, you can still hear it, but if you have an external mic like I do, it lessens the noise. I don't know, it doesn't bother me. If, if it does bother you, then stick with the Canon 3.5. Uh, the autofocus mechanism on that lens is silent as the night. Ah. 
overall sharpness of the lens, I give it an 8 out of 10. It maintains some sharpness even though it's a wide angle lens, even when it's zoomed in. The build quality is pretty good too. Mount on this lens is made out of metal instead of plastic, so you can be sure that it's going to be durable even when you're exchanging lens. The only downside that I can think of with this lens is the zoom range of it. But if you want a much longer zoom, then I suggest you buy the next version of this lens, which is the 1120 with the same f-stop. So you know it's going to be performing well in low light situations. And uh, I think a much better sharpness than this one. And that's saying a lot since this one's pretty sharp now as well. The next version of this lens is a bit a bit on a bit heavier than this one though, but not that much. So you probably won't feel the difference um, regarding the weight. It doesn't have image stabilization, but it's a wide angle lens. So if you have a tripod when you're vlogging, then it's going to lessen the the shakiness of of the of the footage. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't have IS. Just for comparison's sake, I'm gonna switch the the lens with my Canon 10 to 18, which has an f-stop of 4.5 or 4, I think, and you'll see the difference. So let me just change lenses. And this is the Canon 10 to 18 wide angle lens with an f-stop of 4.5. And when you zoom in, it has an f-stop of 5.6. As you can see, it, it's having trouble focusing on my face because of the high f-stop but if you zoom out to the 4.5 f-stop then it has no problem finding my it's a lot darker and uh, i mean you can see how dark my room is now this is the tokina 11 to 16 this is what i was using earlier big difference with the f-stop now let's go back to to this lens and yeah Big difference, right? That's not to say that this isn't a good vlogging lens, but the f-stop was a deal breaker for me. I mean, I only used this for, I think, only a month. And then I went back to the Canon 10 and 22 because of the somewhat higher f-stop that it provides. Although when you zoom in, it's the same problem. It goes up. So that is why I think the Tokini 11 to 16 or the 11 to 20 is the best vlogging lens. The price of the lenses, by the way, is pretty cheap. This one I bought for 25,000 pesos. The version 2 of this is around 29,995. So still, still a good deal. I looked at other lenses and some of the lenses were above 100,000 pesos. So this is a good deal for, for its low f-stop sharpness of the footage and performance in low light situations. So that's why I think this is the best vlogging lens. Turn. So again, tomorrow we'll be coding. So not sure if I'll be able to vlog, but I'll try to think of something to vlog. And hopefully I think of something. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this vlog. So if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, like the video, comment down below. Do you agree with me that the Tokina is the best vlogging lens or do you have other lenses in mind that you think is the best vlogging lens? Comment down below. And that's it, so until then, take care and peace out.